Good morning, everybody. I hope all is well. I hope you're uh, planning on having a good day today. So here's something. My uncle sends me things every day. I share it uh, on the my, one of my shows all the time, uh, these little things. Uh, today, it says, I, I wish my family and friends a wonderful day. Touched by love and kindness of others, I wish you and yours peace, hope, and lots of warmth and love to fill your heart and home. It says, good morning. Have a beautiful day and God bless you. It's little things like that that I receive every day. And, you know, there's a lot of great pieces that I receive a lot of great things that come in my head, just kind of like the words I've been sharing with you that have really kind of said, oh, hey, hello, wait a minute. You know, like quiet and when you're needing to find that quiet and that calm or you know, when you, because you're feeling twisted and contorted with the, was that rent, rent, something like that. I can't remember the word, but lots of things that we're dealing with. And sometimes we're feeling that way because things are happening in our lives we're not sure how to deal with it. We almost feel stuck. It could be at work. It could be with friends, whatever that is. But there's little things that we can do because sometimes we know what we need to do, but we're not really sure. We don't have the, the faith or the ability to do what it is that we need to do with the belief in ourselves, the confidence. You know, one of those things, when you think about it, when you're trying to, to change something in your life or something that you're completely unsure about, you know, they always say it, and I say this too, and I fail at it, but it's like go of the past. But listen to the stories in your head. You know, things have happened, things have gone somewhere, and there are true stories that are there in your mind that really knows, your conscience knows what is really happening. And you have to, it's that fight between your mind and your heart. Where, you know, which way do I go? You know, change your perspective a little bit. It's kind of like step back and really look you know, make that list. They always say the pros and cons. What are the pros? What are the cons? And which ones outweigh the other? Heard that for years. And many times, I know when we do it, the cons outweigh the pros so much. But then we don't want to admit it. We don't want to deal with that. We just kind of keep pushing forward. Another idea is when you see those things, do some small changes. So instead of always stepping up, maybe you're the one in, in whatever it is that you're doing, you have to always step up. I know what that's like, but maybe stop doing it. Let them finally step up. You know, someone who's doing their job, they're needing to do their job, and you keep stepping up and say, hey, why is this not getting done? I mean, unless it's something that really needs to, which is kind of what I deal with because we have timelines, and if it's not done, then it's not on the air, and we get in trouble, you know, because you know, we, we have schedules, we have plans. But there are certain things that, you can step back and go, you know what? I'm gonna let you fail. I'm gonna let you do what it is, whatever it is that you're doing or not doing. You know, kind of put it on them a little bit. So small changes, small changes for you that's gonna help you give you more confidence and more control of your life, more control of your emotions, more control of your thoughts. You know, explore your purpose. You know, what it is that you really are, who you are, what you wanna be, who you wanna be. You know, what it is that really helps you grow? What is that really gives you the support that you need that makes you be the best person that you can be? And with that, you'll start believing in yourself, which is so important. I fail at that all the time. I have zero lack of confidence in myself. Do not believe in me. I might be able to do it and I might get it done and I might impress people, but in my brain, yeah, it's, it's a no, it's a no go. It just doesn't happen. You know, practice being hopeful. You know, be, be hopeful of good things, of, of things that can happen or change in your life. You know, there is hope. There are things out there. You deserve the best. You deserve to get the best, to receive the best, to, to be the best that you can be. And we all deserve that. No matter how bad we feel about ourselves and we do not think we deserve anything good, you deserve good. You know, sometimes when we're the ones stepping out and doing all the things and, and not letting others fall on their face, then that hurts us because it takes our hope away. Maybe it's even worse than that. Maybe you need to talk to somebody. You need to talk to a professional. That's very true. I have friends that that's what they had to end up doing and they had to, to go talk to a counselor or a therapist. But there are so many things that we can do to just make those little changes in our lives to, to make things better for us. You know, you always hear the serenity prayer, especially if you have 
anyone that's in any kind of, you know, AA or NA or things like that. You know, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. And that's a lot of it right there. It's the wisdom to know the difference. What are you able to change and what are you not able to change? And if you're not able to change it, you just need to accept it is what it is. You're not going to be able to change it. You're not going to be able to change them. You're not going to be able to change things around you if it's completely out of your control. And that's when you have to just have that acceptance of, you know what? All right, you got to figure it out. I can't do it for you because I got to work on me. I got to deal with me. I got to change the things that I need to change for me to, to make me better so I can be the best that I can be. Wisdom. Are we stuck today? Are you stuck today? I go, I have days that I feel like it. And I've been, my, my entire life, I know I've fell into situations like that. And I fail on that wisdom. And I fail on not knowing how to get out. But you're going to make it today. You're going to do it today. And you are going to be the best that you can be.